Hey everyone, this is Ross. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to bare root some fruit trees, specifically the fig. I find that they bare root very easily um, and they do well bare rooted. When you can ship them across the country, um, they actually are very resilient plants. They have a lot of fibrous roots, so I wouldn't recommend just ripping these things out of the ground, but you know, if you have a, uh, a pot and you wanna get rid of that tree, just take off all the soil and follow the directions in this video and you can ship that thing across the country and have great success with that tree. Um, I've been doing this now for a number of years um, and I find that it's a really great method for spreading around large and um, mature fig trees. You know, I think the fig community as a whole doesn't do this enough. Um, a lot of times when we ship plants, they're very small trees like so you know, in these one gallon size pots, and then you have some top growth, and the root mass is quite small. And you might look at this tree and say, wow, that's a great looking tree, because it's got all this top growth on it. But uh, the reality is, whatever is in here is really the key. It doesn't matter what's up here, because uh, these trees, these fig trees, grow super quickly. You're gonna get this amount of growth in no time. You know, I would accept a tree that only had one node on it. I cut it all the way down to here, and just leave this bottom node. But if this thing was filled with roots, I'd be happy. I'd be more than happy. Um, and it's the same thing, honestly, with these bare-rooted trees here, is that we're basically taking off all the top growth and leaving all the roots. And you have to take off the top growth in order to ship it. Um, and we have to take off this, all the soil in order to ship it because it's just too heavy. If you leave on all the soil, you have all that water content in the soil. Um, it just will cost you a fortune to ship a tree like that. Um, plus, putting this pot in a box is literally impossible. Um, this would cost you, you know, this is supposed to be a 10 gallon size pot, but it's more technically around a seven or an eight. You know, we're talking about this pot is about 14 inches wide. If I were to put this in a box and ship it, you're looking at least probably 150, maybe $200 of shipping. Um, so rather than just getting rid of these trees and selling them locally to people, which I could, I could put up a listing and say, all right, well, if you're in the area, come pick them up. I think it's better to take some time and I've really put a lot of time into this is not easy work. You're gonna, you're gonna see in this video, this takes some time. Um, it's a lot of effort but it's worth it. I think if people really want larger trees like this and you want to give someone a larger tree, this is how you do it. Um, and people can greatly benefit from this because this is a giant massive tree. I mean, in terms of the root mass that you guys are going to see in here, um, some of these, you know, this tree I think is in its third year now, um, finished its third season. Um, I believe, but any tree that's about three or four years old that you can bear root, I mean, it's incredible. Um, even if you were to chop this thing all the way back, there's actually some benefits to that uh, because this tree is now gonna re-sprout with some really healthy growth. It's a form of rejuvenation pruning that we talk a lot about. So what I wanna do now is get this out of here and shake off all the soil. And I wanna show you guys how I'm shipping this as well. I don't wanna just leave you with Oh, Ross took off all the soil. <laughs> you know, that's pretty, pretty simple concept there and pretty simple, easy thing to do. By the way, you'll notice with these grow bags, and I've been doing this now about, I bet, I'm about 20 trees in right now. Um, the roots look great on some of these. You can tell on the grow bags, they just don't circle. There is no circling at all. Um, whereas others I have that are in plastic, they have crazy circling roots and it really is a shame. This is a variety here called DN Manel, which is a, definitely a, a variant, maybe the same thing as Grease de Saint Jean, a very popular, well, highly regarded French fig. Unfortunately, it's difficult to get this thing established. And I'm literally giving you, well, if you were to buy this from me, you would be getting such a head start, such a leg up 
on this variety that it's kind of nuts. And that was kind of quick because the soil is actually was a bit dry. You can see how healthy these roots look. There's very little circling that has occurred here. You can, and what I recommend when you guys get these trees from me is just untangle these roots a bit and put them in a large pot, put them in at least a 10 gallon. You know, this was about a seven. Um, some of these have the roots that could go easily into a 15. Um, I, I labeled that on the listing, by the way, if you wanna buy some of these, it's almost a bit too late at this point. Um, I listed them on Figbid. And for those of you guys who follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, um, you guys got to see that notification, unfortunately, of when these trees were available before this video came out. And it really is not how I want it to work, but unfortunately that's how it did. So if you're interested in these or something like this in the future, you wanna know when I'm selling cuttings, you wanna know when I have trees available for sale, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Also check out our blog, figboss.com. So what I've just done is got that into our plastic bag. That's the bag that it's gonna sit in and it makes it easier in the, the shipment process. That way none of that water escapes, none of the dirt escapes, doesn't make a mess. Um, it also provides a lot of moisture, it keeps that moisture in. But we have to do one thing here, and that's take some newspaper or some you know, local ad listings here and just dunk them in water. I'd recommend on a day of recent times, it's been very cold, it's been difficult for me to get out here and do this because the soil is already starting to freeze. You can't bare root a tree if the soil is frozen here, guys. Learn that one the hard way. But uh, I would recommend just getting warm water. Get the water warm, fill it up inside, and then that way when you dunk your hands in this stuff, it's, it's actually nice. <laughs> it's nice and refreshing. And you're not contributing to more frozen temperatures here. But this is really all I'm doing. Cover all the roots with this. You can really go nuts with this. I don't think it's too necessary. Um, we'll do one more just for insurance purposes and I think it's, it's better to have more of this than less of this. You know, but I really don't need more. Um, and you're just covering the roots. This is all, all this is doing here is covering the roots and making sure that the roots, the roots are staying moist. They have some sort of moisture and we're keeping in all that moisture with this bag, this plastic bag. Um, I think it's a good idea at this point to label whatever this is. I have a tag down here on the ground. We'll keep this around here. Tighten this up. This is, uh, like I said, Deanne Manel. And then we have our box. And this is a box that already has a tree in it. And it fits in here perfectly. It's an eight by eight by 36 inch box. And this will literally just, just fit this in here. Slide it all the way down here at the bottom if you wanted. What is nice about this, this particular box, is that one, it's, it's wide enough. Um, eight by eight is really good, I think. You can maybe get away with seven by seven, maybe six by six, but some of these trees, man, um, they would probably not fit in here. Like I had a couple, I had an LSU Red and an LSU Scott's Black that had huge roots and they probably wouldn't have fit in this box, in, in a smaller box. What I do recommend is that when you take this box to the post office, you're gonna realize this is gonna cost you quite a bit. This is a, to California to ship one of these trees is over 30 bucks. Um, if it's somewhere local, it's a lot cheaper, you know, but from coast to coast, it's pretty expensive. What you need to do is cut the height of the box down if you can. And I'm gonna take scissors or a box cutter and I'm gonna cut this down to the right height. And then I'm gonna tape this up 
up at the top here. Um, it'll tape this up and close this up, but it'll be at a lower height. Um, and that way, that height, the dimensions of the box changes and that really dramatically affects the price um, of, this, of this product, or of the shipping. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to you know, charge quite a bit. I had to charge $30 shipping for each person, which I think is reasonable. For something like this, um, you know, the amount of work and the amount of effort and the box itself cost me quite a bit. Um, so I think $30 is reasonable, but I can definitely save myself and you can save yourself if you cut down the height of the box. That's all this really was here, guys, is bare rooting the fig. I have a couple over here that I've done prior to this, to making this video. I've already shipped out a number of these trees. I've probably already shipped out half of them. I've got one, two, or no, maybe not one, two, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I got about seven or eight, maybe 10 trees at most that I have to bear root still. I think there's two behind you guys actually. Um, they're going to get packed up in here. And then this Monday, Monday, today is the 21st. So the Monday after the 21st, whatever that is, and I feel like doing math right now, guys, sorry, I've been doing it all day. Um, we're going to be shipping these out on Monday. So if you, you're interested, a lot of these, these, uh, trees may still be available on Figbid, but it's a pretty limited selection right now on today's Thursday. So, um, yeah, by the time I publish this, it's probably gonna be Saturday. And um, yeah, you never know. There still might be a chance for anyone that's interested, but these are pretty good sized trees. I had one person comment to me and say, Ross, I received the tree. It doesn't look like much though. Are you sure this is gonna grow? It doesn't look like there's any wood. There's no, there was li probably limited wood but in real in real in reality, there wasn't a limited amount of wood. I mean, this is kind of what the tree looks like, right? We cut it back to a certain height so we could fit it in that box. <laughs> um, but there's so many buds along here, and there's so much chances uh, that this thing's going to leaf out and put out many branches. I and mean, even you can even get something from the roots next year. Um, that let's say none of this leafs out for whatever reason. I mean, this is high success rate. I've had great success with these. I've done this for about three years now of bare rooting these. I can honestly say that they bear root really well and they, they ship really well. What I've been doing in the meantime, before I ship them out on Monday, is that I'm gonna keep them in a cold place. That's a big key. Keep them in a humid environment if you can and keep them somewhere cold. Um, like any fig, you wanna keep them above 15, probably above 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you want to, uh, Keep them below probably around 40. If you keep them in that environment, they really stay fresh for a long time. There's no drying out of the roots. There's no drying out of the wood. Um, these trees are pretty much dormant at this point, so there's no real worry there. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you want updates on this kind of thing. The same thing with Fig Boss, our blog. I'll post this kind of thing over there as well, letting people know and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you for tomorrow's video, okay?